Hi guys, right, I am on land today and I'm joined by Graham from Lancashire Lad Detecting, my dad, and Paul from Detector Jim and Paul. So I've got the legend. There's two equinoxes, my dad's using my nox, Graham's got his nox, and Paul has the apex. So we're going to see how the legend compares to them. So yeah. Awesome. See you on the first signal. Hi guys. So, like I've said in my previous videos, I don't profess to be an expert on the legend. Uh, this is my third time with it. If I don't know something, I'm not going to say it. There's just no point, obviously. Uh, I am honest. So, yeah, this is the first time that I'm trying it on land. So, we're on pasture. I have got it on field. I'm just leaving it as it is. Multi-frequency in field. Sensitivity 28. I have ground balanced it, but then I did put the ground tracking on. I do like that feature. Takes away some of the noise. So yeah, let's just let's find a signal and see right, how another we do. signal there. Thirty three. I don't know if there's a few signals around here. Right, I'm just gonna dig it because it is a. Uh, Bit of a nightmare trying to do it with one hand. Nice solid signal, so we'll dig it. So we dug it. There was a piece of iron in there as well, as you can see there. Didn't pick that up. Didn't pick it up at all. Really quiet. And it was a big lump of lead. Yeah. we got a big sounding signal here. I'm wondering if it's going to be a piece of lead again. Same numbers. Solid 33. Really strong signal that. So I'll dig it. We'll see where it is. So it was that can lid or something. Uh, it was down there. It's about six and a half inches. It's a bigger signal so you would have expected to find it obviously. But yeah. See if we can find anything else. A button would be good to test it, I think. Right, I've had a signal here, guys. It's quite faint. Compared to the other signals I've had, it is quite faint. Solid 15. So here we'll dig that and see where it is. So it was that. It's quite a small piece of copper, I think. It's quite deep. It's in the bottom of that. Good signal as well. Yeah. Quite impressed with that. The okay. signal there. Solid again. 25. We'll come back to that though. But I'll go around here. Nice and quiet. have to say guys, I'll definitely be getting one of these. Got a signal in there as well. Yeah, I'm, I am really enjoying the legend. So there we go. Right, we'll dig this. So, I did have this piece of milk topper. It was there. Just stuck in there. I pulled it off because it blew away. But it was in the bottom of that hole, so yeah, it's quite a good depth for one. Just a foil topper. I didn't think it was on at one point, it was that quiet. Just like the Equinox, I do that a lot with my Equinox. Um, going over the field, nothing for ages, and you wave your spade over it to make sure it's on. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll dig this, 28. See what it is. There we go. 
white piece of lead. So I would have said that was about four or five inches down. Nice solid signal. It's quite a loud signal. Thought it was going to be something big. So yeah. Right, I really struggled to find this signal. I nearly give up on it at one point. Uh, it's like a folded piece of metal, but it does look silver. It's a really good signal. It's quite small. It's about four inches deep. You can hear that. I mean, it was a good signal, right? Right, at the signal there, guys, it sounded really, really iffy, but I thought I'd dig it anyway. It was a hammer. <laughs> hammered! Not the hammered we want. But yeah, hammerhead. <laughs> there goes, right, I had a signal air. I honestly thought that it was going to be something big, but the legend really does let you know when there's a signal. Really strong, loud signals. Um, that would make you think it would be like something quite big. So it was about a 27 summit, but it's a coin ball. I can just see it. So there's a rim. Uh, it should be a coin, that, shouldn't it? Let's have a look. Might be 10p, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 10p. Got that for an impression as well. Hey, first coin, anyway. Banging signal, that. Really was. Awesome. Up next... Um, yeah, it was quite a good signal again. It is out now. It was in the bottom as well, which is surprising. Just a thin piece of copper. I think. Or something. Yeah. It has just started to rain. Uh, I have got my headphones on, but I've got them close enough to the mic that you should be able to hear it. She had another banging signal here. If I had my chest harness, I'd dig everyone live, but it's a nightmare, guys. So I'm going to find him and dig him. So it's a 33. So let's dig it. Right, I think this might actually be a musket ball. It's really deep. Flip the clod out, it's in the bottom of the clod. Is it a musket ball? Might have been a fired one at some point. Yeah, it's got to be a musket ball, hasn't it? That's a good little area, eh? Yeah, it could be one, I think. We'll see on the clean-up. But I'm pretty sure that's a fired musket ball. Cool. So this is interesting again. Got a signal. It is quite a good one. It was in the ground as well. So it's in the clod. 33, 34, but if you can see right next to it is a, is a screw or a nail. Not picking that up at all. So that is what you want. That is very, very good. Really enjoying this. We'll get that screw out of the way first. What could it be? Hopefully it's something good. It's not that, is it? Nope. So my dad's had a trade weight. I think Paul's had a loom weight. Yeah. It's not that, is it? No, oh, where is it? Can't find anything today. Hey! 50p! Yay! Is it 50p? Yeah, 50p. Awesome. Cool. 
Happy days, 50p. Alright, next up, big old piece of lead. Solid, solid number. It's quite deep. Uh, I, I did actually think it was going to be rubbish rather than lead. Alright, next up, and it just sounded like it did in the ground, but it was a bit iffy, is a 1p. Pretty sure that's a 1p. Yeah, a bit of pottery as well. Cool. Right guys, next signal. I'd do them all where I'd show you the signal and then dig the target, but the video would be too long, so I'm just going to dig them now. I mean, if it sounds, something sounds really good, then I'll dig it. This did sound good, to be fair, but I just wanted to dig it. So it was about, it was jumping when it was higher up to about 40 something now it's out, I can just see some it's sticking out might not be that though, yeah it is that so it is that it's actually got a silvery look to it stuff out don't want to break it let me come back there you go I got that bit out does look silver that guys don't know what it could have been though possibly off a pocket watch no numbers on a note but that's got to be silver isn't it awesome hi guys so I just had a solid 27 then Took a while to find it. It is a coin. It is windy. The legend just blew away. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. It's really thin. Maybe an old 1p or something. I don't know. Can't really tell. Hmm. Paul's got silver. Silver in the pot, guys. Hey, look at that. Nice decorated piece as well. Definitely silver, isn't it? Yeah. I've got leaky by the way, guys. Hey, guys. I think there's hallmarks on that as well. Yeah, something somewhere there. So, yeah. Awesome, Paul. Look at that. Get in. Hey. Silver in the pot, guys. Happy days. Of a solid signal and possibly another musket ball. A bit smaller, this one. Pistol shot. Hey, awesome, love finding musket balls, cool, happy days, made some friends, hello, hey buddy, yeah. proper friendly you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey pal, Oh. <laughs> Do you want me to video it for you, Paul? Oh, St Paul's found a horse spur. Look at that. It's probably all that, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd oh, love guys. to find one of these. Yeah, nice Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? What should be a rod rest stop? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's got yeah. to be a horse spur. Yeah, oh, definitely. Look at that. Look and it's got the buckle on as well. Look at that. No, no way. way. And it's got the spur on. What the hell? No way, man. That is well cool. Major bucket list, the guy. It's even got the spur. Hey guys, right, I've had a massive, well, not massive, I'd say a really strong signal. It's all the way down the bottom of that hole. I mean, there's, there's been so much iron in this hole as well. So much iron. And right in the bottom of the hole, that is deep. Let me show you. 
I hope it's something good. That is all the way down there. It looks bronze. After all that, guys, it was a latch. Big, heavy brass latch. That got me going, that. I mean, that was some depth, all that. So, yeah. Yeah, guys. I've just had the next signal. It's about 30. Uh, I don't know how far down it would have been, but I'm guessing quite deep. I've just seen it now. If I've not scratched it. Ah, oh, look at that. Victoria. Oh, look at the colour of that as well. It's perfect. Get in. Both sides. Half penny. That is beautiful, that. 1861. That is a lovely coin, that. Wow. That is nice. Awesome. Is that that guys? There's some on it. It's really deep that as well. All the way down the bottom of that hole. With the legend. Solid 30 something. Cool. Hey guys, I just had another signal. It is out. So it was a solid 33 in the ground. 32 out. As you can see, it's on the bottom of the clod. It's quite deep, that. So. About six and a half inches. Seven inches, maybe. I think I need to change the battery. Apologies, my phone repeat. went off. <laughs> Didn't even realise because I was just waffling on. It was that piece of lead. It's got like a funny shape to it though. Hmm. Strange piece of lead. Cool. Alright guys, so I was walking on for about 10 minutes and realised that I wasn't getting any signals and it said 60 on the screen. It, so I've, I've run into the first problem with the legend. Uh, it just froze, completely froze. I don't know if it's because it's a prototype. There's obviously still work to be done on it. Um, I think there's like updates and things to do. So yeah, but it really froze. Uh, luckily, I managed to sort it out by pushing the settings button and the on and off switch together. And then after about a minute, it reset. Um, so yeah, but it, it did scare me, um, but we're back up and running, so it's fine now. Bell in signal there, guys. Double dinger, I had that yet. Right, Double dinger, sounds really good, so I'm going to dig yeah, it. I've lifted the clod, so we'll see where it is together. Is that? Look at that piece of iron right next to it. Clear as day signal. It's that little bit of iron. Okay, oh, so ah, is that it? Ah, it's something big. But it's a double dinger. That is it. I think that's it. Ah, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a squash plate or something, I think. <laughs> oh, well. Good signal light. There we go, another signal. Already dug it out. Looks like a coin. Have to clean it a bit. I don't want to rub it too much, though. Yeah. I don't know why it is actually. Cool. Alright guys, we've got what looks like another half penny. I have already dug it. Time's ticking on now and we're going soon, so I'm digging quite fast. <laughs> um, yeah, look at that. It almost looks like 
the Victoria one through the... Ah, oh, it's another one! Another Victoria Halfpenny. Not as in good condition as the other one, but happy days. You can see ahead there. Awesome. Get in. Right, got another coin ball. Was a good signal in the ground. 44. Yeah, it was about 40, 42 in the ground. Is it going to be a coin in the coin ball? Or is it going to be rubbish? Yes, it is a coin. Or is it a button? No, no, I don't know. I think I can feel a shank. Is that a button? Possible coin, possible button. I'll have to clean it. Hey guys, right. Cool. We are on our way home now. Um, as you can see from the performance of the legend, it did. It did keep up with the Equinox Apex, so in my opinion, it's a cracking machine, it really is, and there's evidence now that you can see that it is a really good machine, so we found really good finds, um, we found some bucket listers, what a day, it's been amazing, and the farmer is so funny, <laughs> so yeah, we'll catch it on the next one guys.